So what would you say are some of the biggest challenges to try to improve the efficiency of solar panels? Um, the most challenging, actually, uh, the NASA DOE uh, spent like a $21 million did uh, a study, a concept definition study on solar power satellites back in the uh, late 1970s, early 70s, a published report. At that time, you know, uh, uh, there's uh, also the conclusion of that study uh, was uh, it, it is feasible. There's no theoretical or physical obstacle for people to achieve energy from space and launch uh, solar power satellite. But one of the major obstacle is the, the uh, uh, very high launch cost. In other words, transportation, you're going to bring a lot of solar arrays, a lot of system hardware into a spray space. But if it's very expensive, uh, you cannot compete with other form of energy. So that was a major obstacle. But that was 1970, 19, early 1980, but more than 35 years has passed. So the technology, like you mentioned, like a solo, a solo panel we call the photovoltaic, uh, efficiency has uh, drastically increased from, uh, from uh, 35 years ago. Right now, we, we even see the, uh, the terrestrial uh, solar power industry, it's booming. And if you see U.S. and uh, Europe, there's a lot of what we call the uh, terrestrial solar power station has been built and actually uh, connected to, to the great supply energy to the, uh, to the consumption uh, on Earth. <laughs> So uh, we have uh, easily seen that uh, uh, the efficiency of solar panels and, and reached um, over 20 percent by time. By the time uh, we're talking right now, and only five, six years ago, you would be lucky to see a 15, 16 percent efficiency. So, uh, and also some of the next generation solar technology have have reached the efficiency of more than 30 percent. And I have seen, I know some laboratory in Europe develop a sim film technology, and the efficiency of those sim film can reach more than 20, 30 percent. So that's a huge development uh, a difference from what we see uh, since the study of space solar power in the 1970s and uh, early 1980s. So you have a drastically uh, increased efficiency of solar panels and also the uh, access to affordable access space uh, launch cost has reduced significantly from 30 or 40 years ago. So, and those are the two major obstacles in uh, preventing uh, the uh, commercialization of solar power satellites. So, well, I firmly believe that the time is arrived, uh, has already arrived, and time is right now uh, for we to really roll up our sleeves and, and uh, actually, um, you know, hit ground and to do, uh, starting to develop uh, these, these systems. But still, it's a quite a challenge to raise funding because uh, if you have a government support, of course, uh, part of the uh, if government support, you have a funding from Congress, from government. But right now, the U.S. Uh, has not been uh, U.S. government has not been very supportive of this program because, uh, for whatever reasons, that's one of the reasons uh, Queen NASA want to do this because I saw there's a hope to raise funding from the private sector. And we had some good success in the last, uh, last uh, three, four years. Uh, for example, ever since I joined the Space uh, uh, Energy Group. Uh, but the funding is not quite there yet. Uh, right now, we're looking at some money to support uh, six year to uh, uh, to six months to eight months uh, concept definition study, which we uh, have a group of experts from all around the world, top experts uh, from NASA, from the government, from academia, from industry, to do a concept definition study on solar power satellite. So once we completed that, uh, we were. Uh, we will have a much better uh, idea to what system we're going to design, build on a demonstrator, on on a, on a pilot the, uh, solar power satellite. Um, once we succeeded in design, build, and launch this uh, pilot uh, uh, project, solar power satellite, into space, actually seeing in power beam back on Earth, 
demonstrate it's it, uh, if not only feasible, it, it can be built and implemented. I think we're going to see uh, a huge uh, uh, increase of private uh, uh, investment. Uh, maybe the government will jump in and to support it. So we, we have a, a firm uh, confidence and, and we have a, a, a conviction that this is going to be happen. It's just a matter of time sooner or later.